Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy V. So in the last episode, we visited the town of Jakol, got some new weapons and armor, and we came back to Crescent. And I also looked up in the guide what I was supposed to do, and Crescent is just that town that nobody cares for, so we don't need to deal with it. But what we do have to do is go back to the Library of Ancients, because apparently Sid and Mid have something they want to show us. Which I have no idea how you would figure that out if, uh, if you were to just play through this without using a guide at all. Your first time playing through this, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough game. Anyways, gotta go. It was north of Jakol to get to the Library of Ancients over all these crazy mountains and whatnot. Let's see, I remember it was near Sand. So yeah, it's right to the east. And there it is, Library of Ancients, meet Black Chocobo. Anyways, back here, we have to find Sid, there they are. Alright, what do you have to say? Hey, you're back, Sid, the steamship. I see. Not a problem, we can just build another steamship. But listen, we have found King Tycoon. What? It seems that he was seen in the town of Karnak. Then it looks like he went into the quicksand desert. The quicksand desert? It's the desert that lies to the west of here. The sand there flows like rivers. No one can enter it. Beyond the desert they say there are the ruins of a city. How did King Tyke I don't know. People here who said they saw him said that his body was floating in the air. Floating? Raggy roasts. Father. Let's go to the quicksand desert. So we won't be able to get through it. We'll find a way. Let's give it a try. And that fries which will cost us our lives. Alright. And apparently the quicksand desert is west of here. I wonder if we can take, take the, uh, the chocobo though. Yeah, th that's not the quicksand desert. It is this. I th yep. This would be a quicksand desert, all right. Quicksand, ruins, and deserty, desert goodness. So let's see, from where can I get to there? Let's see, follow this little path. And it looks like we have to start from here, so we have walking to do. Yay! You know what, I'm going to use a tent. Actually, you know what, now? No, I'll just, uh... I'll use a quick cure on everyone, and that should be just fine. And so yeah, we have to go to the quicksand desert and fight a boss. A sand boss. A quicksand boss. I'm gonna skip you, Silent Bee. Why is the bee so silent? I've heard of a silent Sally, but never have I heard of a silent bee. Bees are usually loud and annoying with their buzzing what did they even try to use? Oh, they just pack. Needle. Oh, they silence people. They know silence and silencing Galoot. That's a great strategy right there, B. Great strategy. How long did it take you to come up with that one? Attack from behind. Man, freaking tastic. Silent B. Needle, 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 needle. Oh man, Galoot. Boots, you so cool with his sunglasses after getting hit by a needle. It's like, deal with it, bro. Deal with it. Plus, is that, is that supposed to be darkness? Let's see, stats. Uh, great, can't look at uh, stats from the stats screen, awesome. I think that's like darkness though, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, let's see. We don't have anything like that, so, time for magic. See, antidote. Nope. We really don't have that much white magic, so I'm just gonna use a tent instead. And we have enough tents, and we have our cabin. Tents being pretty cheap, you might as well just use them like that. But I'm pretty sure they gave me darkness, even though it looks really cool having a nice pair of sunglasses and running around. Okay, that that tents cure it. Awesome. Okay, in the quicksand desert. Oh, hey. Kind of strange. Cactus. Let's see. Oh. So this is like that. 
Sigh. Okay. Doesn't look good. Okay. Wait. It's too soon to give up. You can make a bridge. Might be a little dangerous, but it's worth the try. We'll disturb the sandworm that lives in the desert. You guys defeat it. Then you can walk across the body of the worm. So I'm going to save state there because he mentioned the boss that we will fight in just a minute. How violent. Look who's talking. Ha ha ha. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. I'm Boots. I've read that it would be unwise to use magic against the sandworm. Be careful. Here goes. Why is it unwise? Great mid. Way. Unleash the Kraken! There it is. Sandworm, I choose you! Hole. Sandworm! And a hole. And a sandworm! And a hole. It's like whack a mole here. Jeez. I choose you! Yeah. And the sandworm has 3000 HP, so he's actually a pretty, uh. pretty easy guy to kill. Uh, uh, I'll give armor to Lena because it doesn't look like the center is going to attack anytime soon, so. I'm not going to summon because we said not to use magic. So I guess we just wait for him to pop up and then we attack him there. Quicksand! What does that do? 60! That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I choose you, Boots! Throw your. Hurricane thing. Anyways, he's back in the back hole. And Galoop, you suck. Man, this sandworm is actually really sad. Just a really sad battle. But you know what? Easy battles, easy experience, easy ability points, it's whatever. Although it looks like quicksand sort of places like a dot type of thing on us. Which although it's it's not too bad. I mean Okay, good, you popped up in the same hole. I love you, Sandworm. Looks like Boots is the only one doing damage here. Quicksand again! Looks like Len is just going to keep casting uh, Cure 2 for, it, for us. Uh, Demi! Great. Oh, that didn't do much, so... I'm not gonna worry about it. Come on, Take him out with your Gatling gun! Call me. Use your... Kamehameha, Goku. I want to use a summoning spell, but then they said not to use magic. I take it that if you use magic, he just rages and throws a... He throws a fit. And he's just all angry and stuff. And he's like... Her gloop's just attacking randomly. Awesome. Seeing as though this fight's taking quite a while... I'm gonna go against the rules here. And the mid said not to use magic. We're gonna use a summoning spell! And we are going to summon. Let's go ahead and summon Shiva. See how that works. Diamond Dust! See what it. Does it heal them more? Let's see here. 248. So, apparently, magic doesn't really do anything. It just, just looks like magic is weak on him. So it looks like he doesn't have any weaknesses, and physical attacks are probably the best to use on him. I would assume. I would like it if this fight was not this long. Oh no. Boots, no, no, okay, you're alive. You're alive. Good. Good. Good game, Boots, good game. You fought well in that battle. That looks, still looks like Galoop has yet to hit him. Awesome. Try out Ifrit. You know, if let's uh let's use Sylph. Considering Sylph is the like the vampiric damage. God. Oh really? Only 40. Um, oh well. He doesn't hit that hard anyway, so 40's not gonna do that much to us. Alright, go ahead and hit him there. Hopefully this is the last hit. Are you disintegrating? Nope, you're not disintegrating. Oh you are. Yay! Victory! Five ability points. Great. Oh, well, at least we got a nice little bridge. You did it! Now you can go through! Can I move yet? Sit in mid. While we're gone, can you look after the black chocobo that we left in the forest? 
Be careful. You never gave me your answer. Be careful. You never gave me your answer. Look after my freaking chocobo. God damn it. Anyways, now we can go ahead and cross this, and I'm going to save stay there. Let's see. This reminds me of, uh, back in Pokemon Blue, uh, Giovanni's gym. And some of the rocket hideouts, how it was always like these types of things. So let's just go ahead and slide down there. Okay, we're here. Looks like we can cross these. Great. What a sand killer! Sand lobster is more like it. Oh, looks like you have quite a bit of health there. It looks like you actually hit for quite a bit there too. Awesome. I want to use Cure Throne Boots alone, because he is our lone survivor. Let's see, I'm going to assume that you guys are allergic to fire. I'm allergic. Weak. Well, actually, it's kind of the same concept, being weak to something and being allergic to something. Then again, I'm not a dictionary. Well, it looks like these are actually a uh, pretty good enemy to grind on. It, well, I can't go there. I can go there. Here. Um, let's see. We go down there, we'll go across there. I wonder. I choose this one. Okay, I choose this one. Okay. This one. That one. Okay, no. No. Sand bears. Yes! I've been waiting for a ridiculous enemy like this in the game. Bears made of sand. This makes me happy. This makes me a happy Billy. Alright, at about uh, 90 experience. At about 12 minutes here, so I'm going to end the episode here. Kind of a short episode, but I have somewhere I have to be in a minute. So, in the next episode, we will conquer this quicksand desert and do sand things and go find ourselves a sand castle. So I will see you guys next time.